Now we're going to join up with Emily the Ocean Girl and find out all about her favorite ocean animals and what we can do to protect them. Welcome to Galveston, Texas. Today we're at the Texas Marine Mammal Standing Network. Come on everybody, let's go inside. Hi, I'm Emily Ford. Very nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Emily Simmons. Very nice to meet you, Emily. Welcome to the Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network Thank facility. You. You're welcome. Well, let's go inside, let's check it out. So this place is awesome. Tell me what you'll do here. Thank you. Well, what we do here at our Marine Mammal Rehabilitation Facility is we rescue dolphins and whales that strand on our Texas coastline. That means they wash up on the beach and they're ill or injured. And so what we'll do is we will bring those animals back to our hospital here and we will provide them the right environment to give them all the food and medicine and care that they need to get well again. And then hopefully, if everything works out, we will release them right back into the wild where we found them so they can continue to be happy, healthy animals. Cool. What is the first thing you do after you bring an animal in from the ocean? That's a very good question, Emily. The first thing that we do is we put them here in our pool behind us, which is our hospital pool, and we will carry them. And the reason that we do that is because when they come in, they typically cannot swim. They're too stressed, they're too tired, and they're too sick. So we'll lower the water and we'll literally just walk them in a circle until they feel strong enough to start swimming on their own. We will also give them fluids with a tube. We'll actually give them some water and Pedialyte to help them get their health back up. And eventually we'll start giving them this yummy stuff we call fish smoothies where we'll blend the fish and the water together and to feed them that and hopefully they'll start to eat more fish soon. What is your favorite marine mammal that you've rescued here? My favorite marine mammal was a spinner dolphin named Harley. She was really cool. She was really small and she was really fast, but she had a lot of personality and she really liked to jump and spin and do all kinds of acrobatics, so she was a lot of fun. If you had another job, what would you do? If I had another job, I would love to be a marine mammal researcher out on a boat studying the dolphins in the wild so that I can better understand what their life is like out there before they actually come to us here. If someone finds a hurt mammal laying on the beach, what should they do? That's another really good question. The very first thing that they should do is call 1-800-9-MAMMAL. That's a long phone number. If you can't remember that, you can call 911, you can call the Coast Guard, or any other authority that's out there, and they know who we are, and they'll call us. So that's the very first thing. And then we're going to ask you to take care of that animal for us until we get there. We're going to ask you to keep them cool and wet. You can use buckets of water or wet towels. You can also put sunscreen on their skin to keep them from getting sun. We also will ask you to make sure that they can breathe okay, make sure their head is pointing toward the sky so they're able to breathe, and make sure they're not rolling around too much, that they're nice and stable and quiet. We'll definitely ask you to keep the crowds away and keep them as stress-free as possible until we get there with our truck to take over. Cool. So we're in town for the fishing tournament. Is there anything um, that we could tell our fishermen um, to do to help keep the dolphins safe? Actually, there are a few things that fishermen can do to help keep our dolphins safe. I'm going to give you one of these dolphin-friendly viewing and fishing tip cards for you to keep so that you have those with you. And you're very welcome. And a few things that they can do while they're out there is if they see a dolphin close by, it would be a real good idea to reel in and just wait till a dolphin passes. Also, if you have extra bait in your boat that you don't know what to do with, go ahead and hang on to it, especially if there's dolphins close by. Because if you throw it over, it's like you're feeding them and you're giving them free food. And also, if you have to cut a line, just make sure you can bring that line in because that'll keep dolphins from getting tangled up in fishing line as well. Thank you for showing us around and, and help teach all the kids what they can do to help. You are very welcome. Thank you so much for coming to visit us at the Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network.